we're going to look at um, a problem here about how to conduct a goodness of fit test. So um, what we have are randomly selected deaths of motorcycle riders and uh, we want to use a 0.05 significance level, level to test the claim that these fatalities occur with equal frequency in those all those different months and then explain the results that we see. So um, our null hypothesis is that all those frequencies are equal and uh, the alternative is that at least one of those frequencies is different from the others. Um, we're going to use a chi-square test statistic and we're going to look up a critical value in a chi-square table and we're going to put this entire significance level in the right tail. And then we're also going to use a degree of freedom that's one less than the number of categories we have since we have 12 months in a year. Our degrees of freedom will be 11. So if we scroll down that 0.05 in the right tail, that, um, that column, and go down to row 11, we see that our critical value is, um, chi-square critical value is 19.675. And now what we need to do is calculate our test statistic, and we're going to use StatCrunch to do that. So let's um, open StatCrunch and it puts our data in. This right here, the values we see, those are our expected. So just so we make this easier on ourselves, I'm going to relabel that expected. And now we're going to calculate our, I'm sorry, this was our observed. That's what we actually see. We're going to calculate our expected. Okay. So the first thing we need to do that is the total number of motorcycle deaths that we have. So what we're going to do is sum this column. So we're going to go grab um, our sum, and we don't need the rest of these. So we don't have to select those. Okay, so we can see we have 199 uh, motorcycle deaths in that column. What we're going to do is take that, those 199 deaths, and spread them out evenly over those 12 uh, months. So if we bring up our calculator here, we can see we have 199 divided by 12. That gives us that decimal. We're going to grab that decimal, copy it out of there, and we're going to paste it all down our expected column. Edit, paste. There it is. Now what we're set to do is calculate our, our chi-square goodness of fit test. So let's go to stat, goodness of fit, chi-square, and boom. Oh, not quite. Okay. We get the um, observed and the expected, because I relabeled my columns, it makes it easier. And then now we'll calculate, and there it comes up with all the information that we're interested in. So let's see what to do with that. Um, we want to compare this test statistic here to our, um, our critical value. There's our critical value right there. So since our test statistic, 42.628, is greater than our critical value, um, that test statistic falls inside um, it falls inside the critical region. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis. Okay. So um, also something to take note of while this uh, output is up here. Um, the p-value is really small. There's other problems in here that ask us for the p-value and um, you can calculate it using StatCrunch and report that. Um, to compare the p-value, this just will help if you're looking at a p-value method. Um, this p-value is smaller than the 0.05, so we would um, reject our null based on the p-value method. It should be consistent with, with our traditional method. Okay, so let's go over here. Um, we said we rejected the null hypothesis. Is there sufficient, sufficient evidence to reject the null? Yes. 
because the test statistic is greater than. And then we want to talk about the reason why. If you look at this data, right, you can see that the uh, frequency here in this January, February time, and then the November, December, October time is less than this time. And um, what accounts for that is more people want to ride their motorcycles in the warm summer weather. So the motorcycle use decreases significantly in the winter. So there's less chance for accidents. All right, hope that helps you use StatCrunch to sort out these problems. Let me know if you have any questions.